Morning guys, so I am off to meet a friend today out in London. I don't exactly know what's happening today, but we said we were gonna like meet up, maybe do some like sort of a photo shoot, some location scouting. So we'll see how it goes. I'm quite excited um, just to explore London. I feel like I don't take much advantage of it considering I live in London. Oh my gosh, I'm so bumpy. I'm so bad at like walking and talking. So we have just finished um, having lunch. Currently, I am with my friend. This is Joelle, and she is um, gonna photograph me. And I don't know what we're doing. We're gonna like <laughs> just see where our feet take us. We are in Kensington right now, and the streets are really pretty. There's yeah. just some really cool like scaffolding. <laughs> so in case no one knows, I actually don't understand anything about photography. So I'm here about to interview Joelle. <laughs> Reach some like random place. And, I mean, it seems pretty cool, but I don't know how we can um, get some nice shots here. Shival, what, what part are you seeing? That's interesting. Um, those, like, arches down there would be, like, nice, you know, behind the subject depth of field. <laughs> so here we have found Sean Henry. He's a walking man. He is, um, two metres tall. <laughs> He's quite hench, you know. Right, so this is his face. No, he actually looks quite intimidating now. He's a bit cockeyed. Oh, he needs some like skin beauty treatment. Eesh. He's a bit dull yeah. you know? Yeah. Shout out to any Chinese people who get it. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're gonna. Oh, I'm going round. Oh, there's more pigeons. Oh, can you get away? I don't like it. Oh my gosh, that pigeon. Okay. <gasps> oh my gosh, he's beautiful. Oh my gosh, that blue. Ooh. Oh, don't close it. Some behind the scenes footage of Joelle concentrating with her Asian squat. Ooh. Oh, she ain't happy. Me reaching for my aspirations in life. It always just out of reach. <laughs> Why did the peacock cross the road? To get to the other side. Always a bit zoomed into my face. Where are you? It's not a pigeon! Oh, sorry! Stay in school, kids. <laughs> <laughs> almost, they're almost the squirrel crawlers, whisperers. Oh, oh well, they're actually feeling them, they're faking it. A few moments later. Okay, so, because London travel is expensive, I am now heading to meet some friends spontaneously who live sort of in the area. Now as I have time and I'm just walking to my friend's house, I just thought I'd reflect a bit on today. My film's a really pointless thing today, but it was a nice time with my friends. And we went for a coffee after and it was just nice to catch up and I think I've realised the value of spending time with people you care about. That's one of my goals this year, you know, really spending like intentional time with people um, and face-to-face -face time, not just online. I have arrived! So yeah, I made it to my friend's house and we are currently making some food and we'll see what we come up with. Is this the lighting good? So this is my friend Jaira and I have made it to his house and he is making us food and we are going to analyse his cooking technique today because he is a um, self-proclaimed chef. Um, <laughs> I don't proclaim to be a chef, but also I was cooking myself food and uh... Yeah, so I just, I did just tag along. It's a bit fat the slices, I'm not going to lie, but... Alright, fine. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> the pressure. You're gonna drop half of it on the floor. I could just take the chopping board over there, but that would be too small. And this is what we're having. That is um, beans and lentils and quinoa and healthy goodness. Wait, this is finest. Ooh, well aren't you rich as a student? The flipping technique. A bit burnt. It's fine, it's just, it's mm. called caramelization. <laughs> okay, chemistry student. It's not professional, It just looks like a mush. Oh. It's made with love, it's fine. <laughs> Should I get that for your um, secret Santa present? Salad's better, yes. That's what you want, isn't it? It's really wet, though. Do you see what I mean? Wet is a problem. 
there is always a suit, like, this is why these things exist. Oh no, that's okay, it's not gonna look good on camera. Oh. I don't know what you're trying to do. I don't know what I'm doing here. What's doing your taste test? I'm pretty shy of eating, so. Has, is, are you gonna rate your own food? Um, yeah. The lentils are good. I think it's cold, but otherwise it would be really good. Mm. And then it was like, Again, well, quite a busy day today, actually. A busy day today. I've seen a few friends. It's just time to meet up and chat before we go back to uni. I'd say that I'm a pretty nice spontaneous person. So, we're just going. But yeah, I don't really know what I'm doing. I've just got an issue with London, right? I said it was really sunny and everything, but it's pretty chilly. A bit bipolar this weather. I've just got into Russell Square and like although I'm from London I've never felt so lost. I have no idea where I'm actually going. He just gave me directions and I hope I'm in the right place. I've made it somewhere and this is exciting. It looks quite fancy. Sort of just these glass doors and high security. Um, nice angle with me. update because I've got nothing better to do. Um, I am waiting in my friend's room for him to come back. I'm just wasting time before I meet my next friend. Um, so we're gonna chill and chat. I like that. Sounds good. Chill and chat. Are you if my grandmother had wheels she would have been a bike. <laughs> So, time is currently like 11. This is Natalie. Hello. Might have seen her in another in a, I can't speak in another video. She's gonna tour me around the nightlife in London and um, we're just gonna explore this place. During the day, there's like lunch market food. We have made it to, oh dear, my camera's dirty. Oh, I made it worse. We have made it to St. Paul's. Oh wait, where's the iron? Where's the iconic top? Now it doesn't look like it's actually St. Paul's. It doesn't look like we got here. But we are here at 40 past 11. Oh. Yay! Art. It's, it's what bridge, Natalie? It's a wibbly wobbly bridge. Didn't quite catch that. Wibble wobble. Ah, <laughs> how romantic of a. <laughs> The iconic view. This is way past my bedtime. <laughs> I'm not allowed. Oh my gosh. Typical sounds of London. The sirens. Now that I have settled down for a bit on the train, being able to settle myself, let's just have a quick little run. heading out once again, um, spending that money traveling and eating, but just going out for a simple lunch today, I think, with a friend, and then coming back and hopefully doing some uni packing. <laughs> so I'm currently, this is Julia. Hi guys. And uh, we are currently at Itsu, and we're gonna have some food, just have some time to chat. That is her. Uh, <laughs> I know I still haven't quite mastered the art of walking and talking, it's so shaky. But I'm walking home and I just deep tell like I'm going back to uni again already, like I'm already going back to second semester. Time is really going quickly and it's sort of scary like how much time I'm wasting. Maybe 
not just even at uni but in life in general which is really deep but yeah it's just a bit mad and it also just made me massively deep like um time just it's not gonna slow down you just sort of have to appreciate the days that you have again i think it just comes back to my new year's one of my new year's resolutions of just wanting to make time to live in the moment and just be more present with people so that is my little deep thought for today as i'm walking home My room probably looks really, really messy right now. But yeah, I'm about to attempt to pack everything, all my clothes anyway, that you see around um, into this suitcase. I've also learned a new like packing method, which I'm gonna try um, and use and like show you guys. And basically the technique I would describe it as sort of like a pass the parcel type wrapping, sort of folding up something technique. Previously I've tried the like, you know, the actual like, folding, technique that's not very good if you've got loads of stuff you don't use it and then i've also tried the rolling method that is very good if you want to stop your clothes from creasing up personally don't think it's very good for like if you're trying to actually save space then i have this technique i will be like putting all my clothing items of clothing like flat in the suitcase so even if it hangs over the edges you make it like tucked into all the corners as much as possible and basically you do that for every piece of clothing you have and you like lay it all over each other across the suitcase if you get me but all over the edges it spills over the edges then right at the end you then fold everything back in on itself so you start with the middle layer and it's sort of like a i say like an onion you can put so much in your suitcase using this method hopefully i will do it justice it's quite simple you're just laying everything flat you don't actually have to do any folding really it's just a bit of a pain when you have to open your suitcase up again and get everything because to like open everything out and to get things out that's enough of me rambling i need to get back in right so i'm actually quite worn out doing this i hate packing right now it looks like a mountain of mess but this is actually where the fun begins this is when you're like wrapping your presents folding everything in on yourself and then zipping it up and you get so satisfied at the end in fact as I'm trying to zip this up, I'm thinking there's actually still space. That is how good this packing technique is. We are going to put more clothes in. So by now I've done like most of my packing, at least my clothes anyway. I'm just gonna, I will, I'm so tempted to take a break because I'm actually quite exhausted. But I know if I stop, I'm not gonna pick it up again. So I might as well just continue. So I'm gonna probably tackle all these coats, which are the annoying parts because they're so big and chunky. I'm just questioning, um, how pointless or how interesting this video is and I don't actually know what I'm doing with my life right now. <sighs> it's just the same scarf, same route, but different day. Heading out again, going out to Central again and going to see some more people. So the plan is first to see a friend. Um, she's got a break for her lunch between her uni lectures so we're gonna go to a friend's restaurant and then I am going to meet up with one of my youth leaders later to catch up with her. <laughs> 